All right, time to start judging. So let's talk about the judge's experience. Um, if, if, the, if the MC has already launched the event and the judge logs in after the MC launches the event, then the system's going to recognize you at login and it's going to welcome you. It's basically going to say, hey, welcome, judge. Let me take you straight to your seat. You hit the OK button. If for some reason you're already logged in and the MC starts the event, then you just have to click the live events and go in and find the event, click on it, and hit the judge now button. Very simple. So let's go ahead and hit, and hit OK. Uh, what I can see here is I've got three categories that I'm going to be judging. So let's say, let's just pretend for argument that the MC calls the first category up. And uh, I'm going to click on it. He tells, okay, we're going to start with full beard natural. Now, what's nice about the FHL system is it actually gives you a two-tiered voting structure. And most of the clubs don't do this. But what it does is it allows you to go through and give each individual competitor a score. But then after you've reviewed all the individual competitors, you can then pick your top three finishers from that group. So you actually get two chances to vote on them. This is nice because in some scenarios, if your best beard comes in the first handful of users and you got 30 people coming across the stage, then you might skip that one and save your top vote for the end or vice versa. You might give it away in the beginning and, and a better beard might come down the road. So what our system actually does is it allows you to um, control uh, how your final three are going to be set up by allowing you to go through and vote on each individual and then picking your top three from that group. So MC calls the first person up, does the interview, sends them over to the judges table, comes to me. I've got an option here between 7 and 10. Eventually we might change this judging to be a 6 to 10 ratio, but for now it's a 7 to 10. I'm going to give this guy a score. Let's say I put him in the middle of the pack, I'm going to give him, uh, we'll say, a 9. And so I, I give him a score of 9, and then I hit the submit score. It's going to take me to the next individual. And again, these coordinate, these um, coincide with who the MC is calling up on stage. So the next person up on the MCs is going to be number 2. He's going to call up number 2, do an introduction. If for some reason someone's missing, they ran to the, they're in the bathroom, or they just can't track them down, you have a skip button here. And what the skip button does is it allows you to skip the this individual and it puts them back at the it basically puts them at the end of the line so it allows you to kind of on the fly reorganize it a little bit let's say I take a look at this guy I'm gonna give him a 9.5 I hit submit next guy comes up I give he's a 3 I give him an 8.5 next person comes up I'll give him uh, I don't know I'll give him a 9.5 as well and then the next person comes up and I'll give him uh, an 8 now you might notice I haven't given anyone a 10 that's all right I've got time to do that so after the category is done and everyone's walked across the stage, what the system's going to do is it's going to organize all of my users from top to bottom the way I scored them. So then what I can do is I can kind of cull from the top scores and pick the top three that I want to pick. Let's say I come in here and I'll give this gentleman first place. I'll give this gentleman second place. And I'll put this gentleman in third. And the way you the way you vote on someone, I apologize, I, I breezed through that a little quick. The way you vote on someone is is you, you click on their box. You notice the white light appears around it. That means it's selected. Then I'll go position him. Maybe I put this guy in first. Or I'll click on this guy in the second position. I'll put him in second. Or if I want to do it, I can click him again and move him to third. So you have a lot of control. Just remember, once you're done with this voting process, that's it. You're done. Once I hit that submit final vote button, after I've selected my three, I can't go back in and edit or change them. If for some reason you feel like you want to give someone a different score, like number eight here, I, if, if I double click on him, it will take me back to his page. I can change him from an eight to an 8.5, hit update, and it'll bring me back to my, to my main voting page. You can see he's now an 8.5. I've gone through, I've, I've, I've selected all my competitors for this category. I'm going to hit the submit final vote button. I'm done. I'm done voting for that category. I can't go back and edit. As a matter of fact, if I try and go back and edit it, it's not going to let me. So what you want to do as a judge, let's say we've got five or six judges all sitting up at the table. Once a person fi finishes, it says votes being tallied. What that means is that I finished as a judge, but it means that someone else hasn't been done. Maybe there's four other judges that haven't finished, or maybe there's one judge that hasn't finished. What I can do is I can drag uh, drag the screen down and let go, and what, every time I do that, it's going to go back to the server, see if there's an update, and then bring it back. So what I've done over here is I've actually logged in as the other judge on another device right here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as this individual and I'm going to go ahead and finish judging this category. So go here, 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 and here, and here, and then I'll go in and 
vote this gentleman, this gentleman, and this gentleman, and I'm going to hit submit final vote. Okay, now I'm done. So let's go back over here to this to this screen. I'm going to pull down. I'm going to let go. Okay, we have a tie. That means, that obviously, that there's been a tie, and we can break it immediately. So the way you break a tie is you're going to click on the file, and you're going to select between the tie. We've got a tie for first and a tie for second. So I might come in here and say, oh, I'm sorry, we've got a tie for second, and I apologize. We have a tie for second and a tie for third. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to, I want this gentleman to be in second place and this one to be in third. I'm going to hit submit the tiebreaker. Again, votes are being tallied because the other judge also has to break the tie. See, here's the other judge. He's got a tie as well. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to break the tie for this gentleman. And I'm going to put him in second. I'm going to put him in third. I'm going to hit submit break tie. And then what I can do, I can drag and drop. Notice it says voting closed. Now, what voting closed basically means is that the tie's been broken. All the judges are completed judging. It's time for the MC to move on to the other category. Now, if I was if I pulled up my MC's views, then those little red rings around the MC's view would turn to green saying, okay, it's time to move on to the next category. So let's go to the style mustache. Uh, I'll go through. They call these gentlemen up on stage. I'm clicking. I'm voting. Uh, then I'll come back. I'll have my second chance to review. I'll make this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this guy in first place. I'll put this guy in second, this guy in third. I'm going to hit submit. We have another tie. I'll click on the break tie button. It's going to show we have a tie for third. That means the third and the fourth place individuals have the same score. I can click on this individual and hit submit. Again, I have to wait for the other gentleman uh, to complete his account. I'm going to log in as this guy and break the tie as well. I'm going to put We'll select this person for third, hit OK, back up, and you notice the voting is closed. So it's a very simple process. You take care of the ties right on the spot. It saves time. It saves confusion. Let's go and go through this last, folks. Now, just a point of, of reference, I never give someone a 7, mainly because if you're willing to pay your 10 or 20 bucks and you've got the guts to walk out there on the stage, I think at least you deserve a 7.5. So the only time I give 7s is if, if, is if people, someone's throwing up in the bathroom or someone just disappears and they don't, they don't walk across the stage. It's not really fair to give them a score at all. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go through and score these gentlemen. We've got a um, uh, natural mustache. Uh, give him an 8.5. That's a pretty good one. That's not so good. That's okay. Then I get back to my final screen. I'm going to put this gentleman in first. I'll put this gentleman in second. And you know what? I think it's fair to put this gentleman in third. Again, votes are being tallied. Let me log in as the other um, uh, voter. And I'll go through and give it a quick, uh, uh, a quick vote. Place that gentleman there, that one there, and place this gentleman here, and voting is closed. So now when I drop down, you'll notice that the voting is closed button is lit up. I'm done. I've completed judging. There's nothing else to judge on. There's nothing else to vote on. Uh, at this point, it's up to the MC to call the winners, and uh, the event's over, and that's all you have to do as a judge. Thanks.